Hello and welcome to another Ben Hero Vlog with another get up episode go. Going on to introduce the whole concept of me doing one part game and doing the next. We have to jump into the first of the segment, Wings of Destiny, written by Jeff Pollockin. I don't know if I'm talking that right, but I don't care. So this time they go to a world of fairies. Who are currently have who are currently wrestling? Yes, fairy wrestling. Apparently, they're holding a veil of tattooing wrestling competition. Found you in this world to get some emeralds or something. It's kind of cute to have fairy wrestling, but fairy fighting. That basically is. But at the same time, Penn and Sashi Perry um, apparently got to a fight and are basically arguing the whole time. They love for to work together. And Poon doesn't want to be involved, but Cookie doesn't like cooking. Boom motto, don't get involved in stuff and things. But eventually he has to get involved. Let's go to the gut code. Yeah, we're good. Probably the weakest so far, primarily because the pen coffee stuff, eh. It's really typical. You've seen the kind of thing before. Two characters were fighting, don't got them or something stupid, and they're like, oh, okay. I mean, I've seen worse examples of this, but here it's like, Okay, yeah, and it lasts for quite a bit in the episode, it's like, it got kind of tiring, it's like, at first it was funny, but it's like, okay, yeah, you're fighting kind of kick with, I understand, that's the point, but, I don't know, it's not that fun to watch, that's kind of like, um, and that for, and they forgot a little too quickly to find out what's going on, and for Veal itself, first of all, I do like how Boom becomes like the therapist, yeah, okay, and I do like kind of the implied moral of, you know, don't just stand by and watch friend fight or anything like that. You know, get involved, you know. Yeah, that's thing. And then, and I do like the reveal, kind of, of what Gacky will go over and turn out of more boom fault. They don't shat tag him for coming in. They look like a guy and probably they don't bring it up. That would be rather odd. But it would get, I kind of like that reveal. Mocking, I'm more like the clone for the fairy wrestling stuff. There's a lot of good jokes we do with the concept of fairy wrestling. Well, and we get another song, I don't know who can get it, but it's uh, And they talk over a lot of it, but it's still pretty come on to song, essentially. Cool. My favorite part of that, Rippin has a partner who the guy voicing him is doing the best writing cabinet impregnation. And it is great. It, a lot of comedy comes into how he talks. And they make other references to, like, yeah, I'm doing a wrestling bit, bit fine, I know of, really. Uh, I, I have never been interested in wrestling in the slightest. I don't know how people get worked up over it, but people do, so. I don't know how wrestling fans feel about the Cup Cup, but I feel like if I ever get well enough, probably better than Cup Cup, too. Why did you get drunk in for You can fucking everything. <laughs> oh, why not? You can that book I made for the man. Why not? I don't know. Nick Lincoln get him on tour to be good. <laughs> or other wrestling or something like that, but like a pen, pen hero WrestleMania. There you go, can't stop me if you eat movie. I can't stop me if you eat a movie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, the stuff with him was really fun. They ever got twist, whatever they do with him at the end, they're also pretty funny. All the stuff for wrestling was pretty good. The stuff for Pankashi, okay. Go, okay part, but pretty good part, good. Not great, right? I, I know that's the point of them. I don't know, I just never really cared for that kind of chain, it's not fun. You know, two character drink you like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was necessary, I guess, but, eh. Go, check guard most people probably not like that part, but like the fairy wrestling part. I mean, you had some kind of conflict with someone like, but, had a better one, but I feel like I kind of found a good at least. I've seen more examples of the kind of story. Well, well, we'll get up and go. Go like the higher. Probably lower because of pen. Yeah, and not see, but higher because of the fairy wrestling stuff, including. I don't know if you got a name, but I'm calling it Tick Count Running Cow. It's very funny. I'm sure we'll come watch it at the go up line if we work them. I get that going to take advantage to it, that I don't get a credit look on who working who, but I also get really mad too much. But anyway, I shall see you after I watch that go because we are done with the one. Wow, that was quick. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back, and now we shall talk about Sensitivity Training, written by Jay Ritchie, who, by the way, wrote that Tangled Before or After pilot thing, which, again, got a comparison now stronger. <laughs> anyway, in this episode, uh, 
they feel that Masha Ganger being a bit too much and they tend to do well, activity training, class anger management, yada yada. And, you know, she's trying to work it out and trying to be, you know, better at going forward than Black Ganger. And I'll be back tomorrow, we head back to Ocean World for part three. Yeah, because for part three in the show, we went to like, Ocean World and the well, we'll be first in one minute because the community really guys to leave. Um, and they were truly in the can. Now nah, we're back. Um, yeah, I know. Well, so I'll be the point of the portal because we need the world. You can think, it's not like half of the episode where we get to the world because the world's not important in the cup of code. So I figured the two when we go to before I point out that, you know, where I did point people would be more important in the world. You know, this thing I had back to the world, I think I can have to a bit to the world. But this one, it's like something that, that, that I'm healing at, actually. We can have a turn to that interesting joke where they have the fish people, but they all look for game, go panic, no idea which gender or which, which they could joke on short Tumblr alone. The Tumblr can like show in general, actually. But the joke in particular, you know. <laughs> um, it ended in the oh, fair, I pen, the first kind of thing. Go, imagine the are getting in the grade for a couple They're getting a joke where you tend to go to the bathroom, but you're gonna know which one's which. You can't play that joke in SpongeBob. Um, but yeah, that was kind of awkward. I got kind of that really like the cup of code. Um, I look at the point, I better really like the, um, but reading the description, I better to really like the, the fairy one and not care for this one. All the way around. I do care about that one, it's not a lie. Um, First of all, the ocean world, I do kind of, I do like what, what they did, but, you know, I feel like they picked the virtual world, I've been like, I want to give them a real world, but they pick one I don't care too much about, it's more of a, like, interesting world, honestly. But, um, and I still love that ripping a glass of a freaking cave with my half a million. Better go. Um, <laughs> um, and then I go, the ocean stuff, I don't care quite much about, but, it's a good way for being coffee plot. Now, first of all, it's going particularly funny. There's a lot of good jokes. Uh, Ripping got good lines. And, oh yeah, chronicling how important some characters are. Ripping pretty important that's that go to any decently important one. Okay, he's not used to working. It's literally a coffee up going to be everyone who's all pen coffee a lot. They're fixing that problem. So, coffee is involved a lot in the whole thing. Coffee up because, um, yeah. Um, so, we actually kind of thought before we're going to have to, like, yeah, have anger management in some way, and, well, again, first they felt a lot of good jokes. My favorite one is when they do, they do a full play out little thing where they pretend to be each other, um, you know, talking to each other, and give me a kind of, I remember Dwarf Link going by that cloak or get close to close because I was annoying, their condition was loud, anyway. And they go, they're doing a pressure with each other, and Boon to one of Kashi, it got them to have you know, I mean, the actor doing an impression and a joke. They actually had, like, Kashi would get to do the line, go, go wow, that's a really good impression. But it's so jarring, that's really funny. <laughs> I, I, that, that made me laugh pretty <laughs> hard. And I got kind of really good joke as well. The execution of the joke, that I just mentioned, the everything, the execution of the punchline, that was funny. And that joke. But I really like both Mo, Mo Cup Code, it gets even more. Basically, you would expect them to do kind of, oh my god, now it's closed all the way. Anyway, go. Typically, they had a person real life getting an angry pad and, you know, kind of calm down, whatever, but we're going to bring an interesting point to that. It's not, actually, Kat, it's not about never getting angry, it's about only getting angry when it's not scary. Like, she, when a bird, I can take it. Okay, go. They get eaten by a fish, taken by a eagle. <laughs> you know, and she talked to the eagle and tried to calm down and not use anger on the eagle to get them to free a friend, and it worked. But the fish carrying it won't have any of that. Go, she did punch and pick it up. There you go. And I can't, because the moral is that it got to eagle and angry, you know, in the environment sometimes, but only when that's scary. You need to know when to. Um, to control your hate. No, I think that it goes like, well, most show might even treat getting angry like a bad thing, like at all. You know, some, um, definitely a while ago, and we did a video on that one point one episode, and I, um, watched the a camera relief in Hammer Danger episode that both had the problem, where I can't even tell whether they need to, but, but the character in Gershat Time, through can't agree, I think that's what people get angry at. You know? 
And Kofi for that one up for that. It's a little good up in general, but it did do off that vibe. You know, thinking. But the cup could go, no, yeah, we got to be okay. Just, you just know when you troll it and not be a jackass, which I really like. <laughs> um, that's why I really like this one. Uh, but only get funny, and uh, get good, good development coffee. And I won't give it a little on the nose. Uh, two point one, it's a little on the nose for fit. And just got into that. Ponchi controlling a little less. I feel down. You know. um, I mean, do catch up for trying to be calm, but like, uh, that's a country train. She kind of okay. I'll try to be calm out of what happens, even though bad stuff happens. So she becomes eventually she can't get good. And what Larry, uh, the focus of that, but more all she went okay. Go to control now, kind of. But I don't think that's too big of a deal because of the way it gets good. So yeah, probably like this one quite a bit. It's pretty funny. Uh, we can get scared from it again, and they do that. They made the right twink. And kind to just um do a world be done before, but a couple ones. Cause I feel like it worked well if they win more play world again. But you know, I'll go Rufus in there. I can't remember what he was like in the first two episodes, but here he picked me the bubble. <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty funny. Um so yeah, pretty funny and the guy probably good moral. It's warm though, but I gotta agree that gang angry it could it's really bad. Again, I like when kids teach that fun emotions aren't a bad game. Sad is not bad game. Angry is not. Uh, and a very good counterpoint to others. Again, of course, part of what I do when you're asking, applying most of the who, like, um, like that, that we are better kind of episode. I mean, at that point, you might should be, you know, but, <laughs> you know, that can't go to when I come out fine. Not so much when you're picking applying it, you ever like it. Well, it's just natural. Anger, you need that little flack in you. <laughs> you know? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I've got a pair up. Go up, go I Half light, half out, alright? And the one I thoroughly like, go. So I would like probably that five, the, the one that I thought I wouldn't care for, and I ended up liking, and the one I, I would end up liking, I thought, okay. I don't call that one good. It's a good up, go. But this one was very good. Not great. Again, but strikingly good. So tomorrow, which is the end of week one, because again, we are two on Friday, you know, though it's kind of point of the bomb the whole week, but whatever. So we will end of week one with the bewildering bout of the downing of Tarton clash back to the path of future. Uh they both kind of mean and just another title. Uh, go, I got Kasho, see you then, doll pair, I'll see you for tomorrow, goodbye.